hijacking this vlog for one minute before it even starts because I have something very exciting to show you. My giant lily has finally bloomed. <laughs> It's huge. I'd say flowers not as nice as the other smaller lilies, but it's still really cool to see. Anyway, back to our regular schedule of programming. Hello and welcome to a summer weekend in my life in the UK. It's currently mid-August and I think it's fair to say that this summer so far has been a little bit disappointing. It's an ongoing joke that summer in the UK doesn't really exist, but generally we do tend to have pretty good weather in the summer. But so far, July seems to rain almost every day. August, we have had some nice weather, but it's been fleeting. And this week has just been so weird. It's been wet, really, really windy, and but also really warm. So yeah, it's not been nice to sit outside and it's not really been nice to walk around because if you wear a rain jacket you get really sweaty if you don't you just get blown around by the wind or get wet so this weekend however is supposed to be the turning point and it's supposed to be a little bit nicer so <laughs> it's not currently it's still a little bit windy and very gray but Anywhere in the UK that is nice during really nice weather is so difficult to get to. It gets so busy. So all the beaches and the Lake District and places like that. So I am taking a little bit of a risk. And even though the weather is not amazing, I have got my pedal barge in the car, as you can just about see. And I'm heading over to my mum's and we're going to go out down the flashes for a bit of a paddle. The sun is supposed to start shining at two. So we will see if I can time it that we can get there when the sun's nice, but it's also not too busy. So also planning on trying to do some more outsidey things this weekend. So let's see how we got on. The current weather situation. Come on, sunshine, I believe in you. Arrived at my mum's, it's one o'clock. It's currently raining and the sun is supposed to be here from two, so Keep your fingers crossed for me but in the meantime i'm playing fetch with pablo oh no it's lost oh we've got it we've got it gimme give gimme give gimme give slight change of plan my mum decided she wanted to do some food shopping before we took pablo out and Pablo thought he was going out for a walk and was crying at the door, so we've come out for a walk. He's actually really full of beans today to the point of being a little bit wound up, so paddle boarding might actually be interesting with him today. I've never known a dog, especially a chihuahua, to love a walk as much as this one does. <laughs> normally launch but I'm not sure we're going to be able to get through that today. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is my floaty coaty. And then Pablo has got his own floaty coaty. How cute. <laughs> Look at that tail, he is not happy. Not me just leaving my paddle on the, on the shore and I had to manually hand paddle my way back. Good lad, is that nice? <laughs> day a perfect august saturday afternoon and there was literally one other person out on the water at the flashes so really glad i took a little bit of a risk on the weather and went for it um back home now and chris and i are just chilling in the back garden doing a bit of reading just about to make a nice summery tea of some chicken sweet potato a bit of salad and hopefully we'll be able to sit outside for the rest of the evening if it stays nice Chris's dad has grown a load of lettuce from seed recently and they've grown a little bit out of hand so we have one here. I know you can't see the rest of this little area in the front but it's actually my lettuce graveyard because I just didn't water them so I've tried my very best to water this one and we're going to have our first lot of this lettuce with tea tonight.
Good morning from Sunday. Uh, we had such a gorgeous evening yesterday. We just sat in the garden until like 10, uh, reading with the big festoon lights on and it just makes me so happy to do that. I would always much rather sit outside than sit inside. I've woken up a little bit later than intended this morning, but I'm just gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna head over to the Peak District and the plan is to walk Kinder Scout, but to go a direction that we've not actually done together before. Well, I'm, neither of us have done before, sorry. Because there is a swim on the way called the Mermaid's Pool. So yeah, really excited about that. The only problem is I hope we can find somewhere to park because it's a nice day. We'll see, I'm sure we'll park somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a fizzy drink after a long hike. Cheers. Just home from a pretty epic day out in the Peak District today and it is 20 to 7 p.m. So I don't think we'll be doing our usual Sunday rituals of roast dinner. Probably won't even have a bath tonight. Really can't be bothered. So just an everything shower, especially after being in that peaty water. We ended up walking about 10 miles today and it really is quite hot. So it was hard work. And I'll share the route that, I, that we did in the notes below but i wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that one because some of the directions were not the easiest to follow and we ended up doing a very long very difficult that was probably one of the more difficult hikes i've ever done in the peaks um but there was a much easier way you can take to go up to the mermaid's pool which we took on the way back and it was beautiful actually uh, through that lovely wood that you saw so Definitely easier ways to get there, but we managed to get to the top of Kinder as well as being able to go to the Mermaid's Pool. So yeah, great day out, absolutely exhausted, 
caught quite a bit of sun and it is just time to chill out this evening now. <laughs> I always think if you've got dirty feet after a summer day out, then you've had a really good day. And yeah, I think these tick the box for dirty feet. I can't believe I'm giving free feet away on the internet. I may not have done my full Sunday night routine this week, but something that is super important to me before I go to bed on a Sunday is writing in my journal. I have to do that on a Sunday just to clear my head of the week prior, enter the new week with a fresh head. But at the moment, something I've actually been doing is journaling about my future self and really getting to know her and who she is. It's funny, I feel like you reach this big age and you think you'll have achieved everything that you wanted to in life and you'd just be happy just you know chilling but I've actually found the complete opposite is true I want more things now than I have ever have done in my life and I actually believe these things are possible now as well which is a huge shift for me but something else for me is that I've never really been able to imagine myself in the future either so this exercise has been really interesting because I've kind of written down the thoughts and feelings about this future me and kind of made it a reality but something else that's interesting as well is that this future me is not that far removed from who I am now like I feel like this future me is a completely different person and will need so much work and effort to reach but it's very close to who I am already. You know, it's a person who loves being outdoors, who loves movement, amongst many other things, but they're all parts, inherent parts of my character anyway. So that's been the most interesting exercise for me, but also really, um, it's really nice to see that it's something I can definitely reach in the future. So I am just gonna be drinking my chamomile tea doing a bit of journaling and then I will be going to sleep. So I will catch up with you next vlog.